Hey folks, this is Rachana Ranadi here and I welcome you all to a super duper important video. Well, super happy to share that a new member is going to be added. <laughs> Animation team, control your emotions. New member is going to be added to Nifty 50. And which is that? That is LTI Mind Tree. But if LTI Mind Tree were to come in, some stock has to go out. And which stock is going to exit Nifty 50? That is going to be HDFC Limited. But why did this happen? Any reason for that? Obviously, yes. So for that, have a look at this. HDFC and HDFC Bank merger, I'm sure everyone knows that will be effect that has become effective from 1st of July. And it is very clearly mentioned that HDFC shares will go off the market effective 13th July. So in simple words, what will happen? Let's understand with the help of this chart as well. So if you have a look here, HDFC had a weightage of 5.88%. Will HDFC go away? Yes. From 13th morning, HDFC will not be available in the stock market. This, there, what will now happen? There will be a rebalancing, there will be a reconstitution and after that, LTI mind tree will come in the nifty 50. So in simple words, 50 stocks will remain intact, there will be a rebalancing and there will be a reconstitution. Well, before we move on, what happened? It, shirt is different, Array, it's okay. I have come to tell you something really important. Focus, okay? So, Saturday and Sunday, which ones? 15th and 16th of July 2023, I'm going to conduct a live session in Pune, but for what? for the technical analysis course, but that is going to be in Marathi. So if you have some friends who would want to learn technical analysis from me right from the basics, that is in Marathi in the in many people's mother tongue, then don't forget to check out our website www.rachanaranade.com where the registration will be available and uh, there are limited seats, only 25 seats are there. So those who want to come and learn from me in a live classroom environment, then don't forget to register as early as possible. Link is there in the description box and pinned comment. Now let's come to a very important part and understand as to why LTI Mindtree was chosen over other stocks. For that first things foremost, we have to understand as to when is typically Nifty rebalanced. It's balanced, rebalanced twice in a year. Number one in March, number two in September. Okay. But then you would have imagined that had we waited till September, we would have had only 49 stocks in Nifty. That would not happen, right? So what is mentioned that in exceptional circumstances, like something like a merger that's hap that happened right now, in that case, the rebalancing will be done not only on a semi-annual basis, but as per the demands, right? So now we have to understand as to what are the three, four conditions based on which a specific stock is chosen. And for that, what we are going to do, we are going to check out a very important booklet. I'm going to take you there. So this is the NSE indices ka methodology document for equity indices. A very important document. And I'm just going to quickly take you to the nifty 50 points. So yes, you can see it here. And what can you see? <clears throat> Super important, right? Pay, pay attention. The index represents 50 companies selected from the universe of Nifty 100. So first things foremost, we have to understand that Nifty 50 companies will be those which are a part of obviously Nifty 100 companies. So that is condition number one. How will they be chosen? Based on free float market capitalization. So we have to understand that the free float cap market cap has to be really good. Then only it will be qualify in the top nifty 50 companies okay so basically nifty 50 top companies will be those who have the highest free float market capitalization what is third they should be liquid companies having an average impact cost of 0.5% or or less for 90% of the observations for a basket size of 10 crores so what is the third important condition that the average import uh, average impact cost has to be minimum has to be less than or equal to 0.5% for what 90% of the observations are. So simple, lower the impact cost, better it is. And the fourth one is that the constituents should have derivative contracts available on NSC. So how many conditions? Four conditions. I'll quickly recap it for you. Number one, to be a part of Nifty 50, it has to be a part of Nifty 100 universe. Number two, free float market capitalization has to be best, has to be highest ideally. Third, to be a part of Nifty 50, right? Number three, it has to have a low impact cost. And number four, the constituent should be also available on the derivatives market. Now, important point here. If you don't know about these concepts, for example, if you don't know what is, uh, you know, Nifty 50 ka free float market cap, if you don't know about that, then don't worry. What am I going to do? I'm going to give a separate blog. So you just have to click on this blog section and you will find a separate blog which will be posted today itself on free float market capitalization. And if you don't know concept like what is an impact cost, what are you doing? We have amazing courses where you can learn about a lot of stock market concepts. For example, in basics of stock market, there are so many plus 45 more concepts which you can learn at your own pace. So don't forget to check out the link in the description box and also in the pinned comment to invest in knowledge. 
Well, now that you have understood the basics, let's come down to a very interesting Excel sheet so that you will also understand how we could have easily derived that LTI mind tree. So for that, have a look at this. So first what we have done is, this is a list of entire Nifty 100 stocks. So what we'll have to do from this entire Nifty 100 stocks list, first and foremost, we'll have to remove what? Number one, we'll have to remove Nifty 50 companies because they are already a part of Nifty. And number two, we'll have to remove those companies which are not in the derivative segment. Now, after we did this, we came down to this list of the companies, which has way less companies as compared to the previous one. And here you can see, when we filter out, only derivative, yes, all these are filtered into this list. Now, what do we have to check? The important point here was that the free float market capitalization is the basis on which the top Nifty 50 companies will be sorted, right? So for that, let us sort this free float market capitalization from largest to smallest. Right. And if you check this, you can see that LTI mind tree clearly has the highest free float market capitalization. Even if you check by market capitalization, not even free float market capitalization, which is not so relevant, but still you can see that LTI mind tree is the highest. Now, what was one more criteria that was about the impact cost? If you remember, impact cost should have been 0.5 uh, percentage or less and that 90 percent observation, la la la. Now, the problem is that the impact cost details, which were there in the nifty 50 sheet that are not available very easily, six months ka average and all and all that. What we did is we visited NSE India website and there if you check out any script for every single script you will understand what is the current impact cost and that is what we have written down manually for each and every stock that you can see in this list. So what can you see here? LTI entry average uh, the impact cost which was there on the NSE website is 0.03%. Is it less than what was the required limit? Yes. Now if you see here Dabur India though has the lowest but if you remember in that sheet what was it? 0.5% se kam hona chahi. It should be less than than that equal to or less than that so does lti mind tree also satisfy this criteria answer is yes so it it is very very easy to understand as to why lti mind tree was chosen to be a part of nifty 50 in the immediate next section of the video we are going to understand a very very important point that if you already have shares of hdfc if you already have a loan from hdfc if you have a fixed deposit in hdfc then what will be the circumstance what will be the impact on you and let's come to the grand finale question as to if you are a shareholder of HDFC, then what will happen? If you have a deposit, let's say if you have a fixed deposit with HDFC Limited, then what will happen? And if you have taken a loan, let's say a home loan from HDFC Limited, then what will happen? So let's take the scenarios one by one. First, we'll talk about if you are a shareholder of HDFC Limited, then what? So basically, as on record date, that is as on 13th July, if you have shares in your DMAT account of HDFC Limited, these shares will be taken away from your account and the shares of HDFC Bank will be credited to your DMAT account. Now, how much time does it typically take for this entire thing to happen? Typically, it takes around 30 to 45 days. Okay, so you'll have to have some patience for that. Now, question is, what will be the swap ratio? I think everyone might already know about this. For every 25 shares of HDFC Limited that you have, you will those shares will go from your account and you will get 42 shares of what HDFC bank. Now the question is that if I have 30 shares then what? So it is normal mathematics right? So for 25 shares if you are going to get 42 then for 30 shares how much? normal cross multiplication. Now, if there is some fractional thing that is coming up, if it is exactly not divisible, then the fractional thing is sorted in the way of settling by cash. Simple? Okay, fantastic. Second question is if you are a depositor with HDFC. So, for example, if you have a FD with HDFC Limited, then what? Nothing changes. You have already entered into uh, this FD with HDFC Limited. Until and unless your FD matures, nothing is going to change for you. Okay. Number three, if you are a borrower of from HDFC Limited, so basically let's say you have taken a home loan from HDFC Limited, then your loan account will get shifted to HDFC Bank. Very important is that there may be changes in your interest rate because, you know, there is something known as interest rate linking because of which the rates may change. So I would request that if you have a loan, first visit HDFC Limited, understand what will be the changes in your home loan rate. Well, now let's shift back to LTI mind tree from the HDFC discussion. Reason is very simple because now that we know that LTI mind tree is going to come, we have to do the technical analysis. Why? Because all the index funds would now have to buy the shares of LTI mind tree to maintain their composition with Nifty 50. So today, if you can see today, the stock is has, has seen some selling pressure. Uh, it is up by just 0.71% right now as I shoot the video. But if you, I just, if I just just want to quickly go to the one month candle you can see that the stock is down from its highs by quite a bit if i were to check the percentage drop from the highs it's almost available at 30 percent below 
the high that it has seen now going back to the daily candle we have to understand also that what is the pivot level is it able to sustain above that so here you can see pivot is around 5067 it is currently facing a little bit resistance around the 5359 mark but as i said inflows are going to come into this stock and if that be so there are great chances that it may go up higher and higher as usual everyone knows that this is obviously not a stock recommendation so i hope you have understood all three scenarios of what can be the impact to you i hope you enjoyed this one if you did don't forget to share this with your friends don't forget to share it with your family members as well and if you want to learn more concepts of course you can click these videos till then take care jai hind and bye bye